I'm Ben Ward, and my 491 project is titled Creative DSP for Live Performance. The goal of my project is to create a series of creative effect processing plugins using C-Sound and Cabbage that I can use for live modular performances. Throughout my studies in EPD, I have been very interested in modular synthesizers and audio programming. For my project, I wanted to combine these focuses and create a series of plugins that I could use for my own modular performances. My goal by the end of the semester is to make three plugins. Each will focus on a different DSP technique, but my focus so far has been on a time variable convolution processor, so this video will focus on that. Convolution was the technique that first inspired me to do this project. I knew convolution was used for reverbs, but I didn't understand what it was, much less how to program it. After doing some research, here's what I learned. Convolution, fundamentally, is a mathematical process that takes two arrays of data and performs the algorithmic operation known as convolution to produce a new array of data that places the second array at each point of the first array scaled to that value. When this is done with audio files, the result is a smeared average between the two files. This process turns out to be ideal for reverbs and space emulation. By convolving an audio source with an impulse response recording of a space, you can create the effect of reverberation in that space. However, for my performance and for the plugin, I wanted to explore using non-impulse response recording for convolution. To test this, I opened up Logic Space Designer. Space Designer allows the user a lot of control over their convolving file, and can even change certain aspects of the file like the file length, size, and reverse. However, these parameters could not be changed continuously in real time during a performance. For my plugin, I wanted to give the user similar controls for controlling the convolving file, but allow them to alter these parameters in real time, and furthermore, be able to use the plugin outside of Logic. I also tried using Live's hybrid reverb for these purposes, however it has the same limitations as Space Designer, and you cannot change aspects about the convolving file continuously. To make the plugin, I used Cabbage, which is a framework that allows for graphical design and VST and AU export of CSound code. While designing this plugin, there were a few key features I wanted to include. First, allow the user to upload their own files for convolution in both mono and stereo. A waveform viewer and selector for precise selection from their convolving file. This will include a selection start, duration, and playback speed knob. Lastly, continuous real-time control over these parameters. One of the major limitations I had to consider when designing this plugin was CPU load. Convolution is an extremely computationally expensive process. Using the fast convolution algorithm to process one second of audio recorded with another second of audio, both recorded at 44,000 samples per second, requires 680,396 computations. For a modern computer, this is not a problem, but it becomes a lot more expensive with real-time input and variable changes. To make sure this wouldn't be an issue, I tested my first working versions early and often, but it ran very smooth unless quick changes were made with the plugin window open. Here is the current version of my dynamic convolver. Using the file button, the user can upload their own file for convolution with real-time input. This file will be displayed and updated in the file viewer. The amount dial controls the overall amount of convolution being applied. Using the start and duration knob, the user can select the precise location and length of the file they wish to convolve with. You can alter the playback speed of the convolving file by changing the size dial. 
and by selecting a negative value, you can reverse the playback. Lastly, I would like to showcase a couple of performance examples using the Dynamic Convolver. Thank you.